I know a lot of you are allergic to poison ivy, including me. The most common ways we get it is by touching that three-leaf plant. We get it uh, when we're working in the woods, we're working on the edge of the woods, we get it in the forest. Be amazed at how many people get it when they dig up bulbs and plants they want to put back in their yard. You get to digging in the soil, you get to digging in the ground where the roots of poison ivy are, and you can get poison ivy on your hands in the wintertime and in the summer, and you don't even think you're near the poison ivy. It can be everywhere. Here we have it growing up on a tree, a pretty healthy vine. It's the only vine that I know that's hairy. Looks like a nice brunette here. Um, nice long brown hair, which tells me immediately that's poison ivy. If it was a grapevine, it would be smooth. The bark would be smooth with no hairs on it at all. I can get poison ivy just by rubbing that vine right there. Now, if you want to eliminate a vine this size, you take a saw, hand saw or an ax, and cut a chunk out of it. And pour undiluted garlon, undiluted Roundup, just a tablespoon or so, on that fresh cut stump, and it will kill the roots of this plant. Everything above that will die. This is not a parasitic plant. But be forewarned that you can get this if you if you want to use it as firewood, if you have, no matter how small the vine is, the chemical that causes that reaction is in the, in the vine, it's in the roots, and of course, well, all we know, it's in the leaf. This is Rhett Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.